Number 45. Determine the number of moles and the mass requested for each reaction in exercise 4.44. And then we have letter A out of those exercises. So in this case, we have to find the number of moles and the mass of magnesium, so just mg, uh, which is required to react with 5.00 grams of hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, to produce magnesium chloride and hydrogen. Okay. So... Seems to me that they, they literally gave us only one number, right? We're starting off with a amount of one compound, right? In this case, we're, we have five grams of HCl. And the question is asking for, give me some information, right? We need to find the moles and the mass of some other element or compound. In this case, it's an element. It's just magnesium. When we see this setup of when we're starting with one compound and we're going to another, we have to use... Uh, stoichiometry. Yeah. Everybody loves stoich, right? I know. I know. You really don't, but that's okay. We got this, right? All you got to do is just know how to do it. So the first thing is with any uh, stoichiometry problem, you have to write a balanced equation. Good thing is that we've done tons of problems with balancing, right? We've learned how to make balanced equations and we learned how to balance them. So this will kind of be re a review. If you guys are new here, you could check back on the playlist uh, to see all the, the questions that we've done that pertains to that. So this will kind of be a review. If you want, pause the video and see if you can figure out the balanced equation between these four uh, structures, right? So I'm just going to get right to it. Now, they're asking for magnesium, and it seems like magnesium is reacting with HCl. So magnesium and HCl have to be on one side, and you're producing, which means that it's the products, magnesium chloride and H2. So I know that magnesium, Mg, plus HCl have to yield or produce MgCl2 plus H2. Now, just writing this isn't good enough. We have to make sure that it's balanced. So always just go back and check to see if you have the right coefficients, AKA the big numbers in the front. So I'm just gonna do a quick scan here. I see that I have two chlorines and two hydrogens on my product side, but I only have one of those elements. So I'm gonna put two here. And now everything is all good and balanced. So first part, done. Second part is what I like to do is I like to keep everything organized. So I'm going to go back and, and write down what they exactly gave me and what I'm looking for. So in this case, they told me that I had 5.00 grams of HCl. So under the HCl, I'm just going to put down 5.00 grams. And now I also write down, oh boy, I also write down what the question's actually asking for. They're looking for the moles and the mass of magnesium, just Mg, which is all the way over here. So moles equal question mark and also the mass, which is basically grams, right guys? Okay, now we can much better see that we're starting with one thing and going to the other component on a balanced equation, stoichiometry. So know this flow for stoichiometry, which is right here. I'm just going to maybe make this a little bit smaller just so that we got a lot of room to write down on the bottom. But it's basically, you have two components. The reds or the A is what you're starting with and the, the blues or the Bs, they're what you want to get to. So in this case, the starting material is HCl. We have the information that they gave us for HCl and we have to find out the magnesium. Grams to moles to moles to grams. Grams to moles to moles to grams. Just remember that, okay, guys? Grams to moles to moles to grams. So now I'm just going to cater this to what R's say. So I'm not going to write A, right? What did we start with? We started with HCl. We started with 5.00 grams of, not A, but HCl. And from there, I can go to moles of the same compound, so I can go to moles of HCl. And then from there, I will be able to transfer over to moles of the one that I'm looking for, B, but in this case, it's magnesium. And then I can go to grams of magnesium. All right, 
Now we have the full blown thing going on here. So let's, let's get down to business. Always start with what you're given and what stoichiometry is, is just one big ratio conversion problem. That's it, Not, nothing scary. So we got 5.00 grams of HCl. And you know what, maybe I will put the units in red to kind of color code the reds with the blues. Okay, now I don't want grams of HCl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply by a ratio, right? And I always work with the units first and then I go back and I fill in the numbers. So I don't want grams of HCl, that goes on the opposite side. So in this case, it'll go on the bottom. And the unit that I want, just look over, it's the moles, right? So moles of HCl go on the top. So we have our units covered, but now the question is, what are these numbers that are gonna go on the top and the bottom? Well, we done tons of problems like this, right? We went from grams of one compound to moles of the same compound. That's using the periodic table. So this part, in your little flow diagram is always using the periodic table. So get your periodic tables out, all right? When you're using the periodic table, remember you always have one mole of the compound that you're talking about. So this number, one, is always gonna be with the moles if you're using the periodic table. The gram value is going to be the mass that we find on the periodic table. So we gotta go to the periodic table and say, okay, I got one hydrogen, so on my periodic table, it's 1.008 plus the chlorine, 35.45, and that's the total mass. So in this case, I got 36.458. Now let me just maybe drag this over. 36.458. Perfect. Now I can cancel out my units. Gram of HCl cancels out with gram of HCl. The number does not get canceled, okay? Just the units. And now look, I'm left with moles of HCl and now I'm at this step. But they wanted moles of the magnesium, which is the next step over. So I gotta do another conversion. Don't waste your time doing the math of every single step, all right? We could do this all in one shot at the end. So just keep going. Multiply by another ratio and follow the same process as we did before. Do your units forced. You don't want mole of HCl, so that goes on the bottom. And look next door to see what you want. Oh, you want moles of Mg. So in this case, I'm gonna put it in blue. Okay. And do you see how at this stage of the game we're crossing compounds? I have a blue and a red. So where are the numbers that are gonna go here, right? Well, mole to mole is the balanced equation, BE. Okay, so mole to mole is balanced equation. Grams to moles or moles to grams is periodic table. And the numbers that are gonna go here are just the coefficients on your balanced equation. Only look for the compounds that you literally have in your conversion. So I only care about the coefficient in front of magnesium and I only care about the coefficient in front of HCl. I don't even care about what's going on on the product side. For HCl, I see a two here, so I'm gonna put a two, but I don't see a number in front of magnesium. What does that mean? There's a secret one here. I have one magnesium and that cancels, right? Remember the numbers don't cancel, just the units. And I finally answered one question. They wanted the moles of magnesium, so I'm gonna stop here and just figure out that number. Now, two things that you can do. You can multiply across the numerator, you can multiply the denominators, and then do them, you know, the one number over the other and do the division. I like to just go one, you know, do it in one shot. And any time that I see a number in the denominator, I say DD, denominator divide. This way you do not need to use parentheses um, in, in these numbers like this. But if you're using scientific notation, which we'll probably get to in later chapters, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out there. But as far as this one goes, I'm just gonna say five divided by 36.458 divided by two. And with stoichiometry, 
since the conversion factors mean nothing in terms of, you know, sig figs, whatever sig fig you started with, that's the number that you end with. So since we started with three sig figs, those zeros count. I got to end with three sig figs. So 0 0.0686, and that's mole of magnesium. Okay, so first question, done. We found out the moles of magnesium. Now we just got to find out the gram, the mass. But we're right here. So all I got to do is just one more step to go from moles to grams, right? Well, we've, we've done this one. I'm going to bring this over here, 0 0.0686, and I'm just going to do it in blue just to keep with the colors. But I'm just converting, right? It's just from one unit to another. So multiply by that ratio. The unit that you don't want goes on the opposite side. So mole of magnesium on the bottom. And in this case, I want grams of magnesium. So grams of magnesium go on the top. This is the same thing as we did before. I see I'm converting a mole to a gram value. So the grams are included in this conversion, just like before it was grams to mole. It was kind of like backwards. So if we're doing that, that's the periodic table again. So kind of know that flow guys, periodic table, balanced equation, periodic table. And remember when we're doing the periodic table, you have one mole of whatever substance is on the periodic table. And then the gram value is the mass that you see on the periodic table. So for my periodic table, one magnesium is 24.31 grams. And then units cancel, not the numbers. And we're left with the only unit of grams of magnesium, which is what we wanted. So I'm just going to multiply across 0 0.0686 times 24.31. I got to keep with three sig figs. So 1.6 seven moles of, oh, not moles, Christina, grams of magnesium. And that's it. There are your two answers. So basically, if you wanted to react five grams of HCl, you would need 1.66 grams of magnesium. That's basically what we just figured out. So if we wanted to use up all the five grams of HCl in my reaction, I needed 1.67 grams of magnesium in order to do that. And that's it. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That would help us out. And I thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. You guys rock. I hope I'm giving you good help. All right. Hope I'm teaching you in the best way possible and that I make it easy and maybe a little fun. <laughs> But that's, that's okay if it's not. I just, I just hope that I'm teaching you guys, all right? But anyway, I will see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.